Welcome to our physics lesson from 4 Thin Lenses. So today we are going to learn about uh, thin lenses. This is topic 1 in book 4 and uh, it is in paper 2. It can come in section 1 but mostly section 2. A very comprehensive question. So we are going to look at Two things in this lesson one the definition and then two the types of lenses in lesson two we shall look at properties of lenses so let us see the definition of lenses lenses consist of pieces of glass of thickness varying from the middle to the edge okay so we have pieces of glass and what i mean by pieces visualize two pieces of glass okay now with the thickness varying from the middle to the edge in addition to that the spherical surfaces are on both sides okay so the key thing is lenses consist of pieces of glass of thickness varying from the middle to the edge on top of that the spherical surfaces are on both sides types of lenses there are very many types of lenses but i've picked two most common types so type one is a lens which is thicker at its center than at its edge so there is that lens which is thicker at the center the middle part but the edges are thin okay now this type of lens will converge light will make rays of light falling upon it to be brought together at a given point after passing the lens so the lens takes in and gives out okay it takes in the rays of light and converge them and for that reason we call it convex or converging lens a second type is a lens which is thicker at its edge than at its center is a kind of reverse of the first one this kind of lens diverges light and it is known as concave lens or diverging lens so in a nutshell we are talking about convex lens another name converging lens the second type is concave lens or diverging lens it's important to use the word lens because we have a concave mirror which converges so it is a converging mirror and a convex 
mirror which diverges so it is a diverging mirror please is important to know the two names convex lens converging lens concave lens diverging lens do not confuse with the terms used in mirrors so having known the type what we are dealing with okay pieces of glasses with the varying thickness from the middle to the edge it is important now to concretize the definition and types using the following example the roles that have been outlined in the definition and also in the types so the first type we talked about was this lens shaded here it is thicker at the center and thin at the edge so you see that and when we talk of diverging lens it is thicker at the edge than at the center okay so using these two diagrams you concretize the shapes you can as well put a line here to show you there are two pieces put together and another line here then we've said one is converging that is convex and another one is diverging so when rays come these are incident rays when they come to the mirror they go through the lens they go through the lens not mirror they go through the lens and they meet somewhere they meet at a common point so this is the process of convergency this the rays that are parallel when they fall on the lens they pass through the lens in such a way as to meet at a single point hence the name converging lens on the other hand if you look at this second type when rays come upon it they are moved apart here they were made to come together here they are moved apart and as such we call it diverging lens that is concave lens now when you extend backwards you get the divergency seem to have come from here it is important to note that these are the real rays but the dotted are an idea that helps us to get the common point from which the divergency emanated i have drawn for ray 1 and ray 2 i would like you to complete for this ray 3 so by definition and roles each play you are able to distinguish what is a converging lens and what is a diverging lens in conclusion we can have a comparison of one of them to also concretize some ideas 
in the first case so i'm comparing two convex lenses i'm comparing two convex lenses one which is very thick at the center and another one which is just thick so this is thicker than this at the center but both of them are converging lenses look at the way the rays came and they were converged compare with the one which is just thick at the center and the way they were converged i want you to figure out the distances i've shown for better comparison you can conclude for yourself the f in case one and the f in case two what can you say about the distances in case one and in case two with that folks we come to the end of our first lesson we shall pick it in the second lesson to know the properties of lenses. Most of you have come about lenses. It is not something new. And not only glasses make lens, even plastics. I will stop there. I want you to subscribe, tell your friend there is good stuff, subscribe and get more knowledge from this channel. If there is any query, comment, also you can use the Gmail that have been always showing Odex Robert with double T at gmail.com. Till then folks. We meet in lesson two. Bye-bye.